Agree or disagree with Jamie Dimon that geopolitical uncertainty and quantitative easing aren't really priced into this market? You know, I would say somewhat. Um, I think if you look at, you know, and I've been early on my call saying that, you know, we'd have some sort of, you know, short term pullback. Um, and it's kind of over the spring and the summer, we've actually still been rising over that time frame. But now, but if you look at it, roughly around July, late July was where we saw the peak. Um, and I think that has to do a little bit with what, what, what Jamie Dimon was mentioning. But it's also, if you're looking into September, which is historically the worst month of the year for stocks on average. Um, and if you look at what's been going on with inflation, and obviously for the consumer, wages aren't keeping up with inflation. They won't keep up with inflation, you know, over time, especially if we still see the hotter inflation that we've seen, you know, over the last, you know, several months. So, so I think those things are concerning, especially if you look at what's going on in the broader, for the broader consumer. Right. And you also have earnings that were, you know, average to, to subpar for a lot of companies, you know, in this past season. All right. You mentioned an inflation. We have two big reports this week. CPI, the biggest. We also have retail sales. What are you expecting from them? How do they inform your thesis when it comes to the markets? Yeah, I still think, you know, we're going to see inflation that's that's going to be troubling uh, as far as, you know, what we see with the data that comes out later this week. Um, you know, we're still seeing a lot of spending and those retail sales numbers will also show a little bit of that. Um, and if you look at it right now, I, I think those things are highlighting a big thing for our thesis, which is saying that there's going to still be a lot of pressure on the Fed um, to tame inflation, even if we see a pause um, in the most recent meeting. I th still think there's an opportunity for a potential hike. Uh, before the end of this year. And that's obviously going to be highlighted by, I think that will be highlighted by what we see in the data coming out later this week. So the Fed has, Fed has been very, very, the commentary has been very strong on being hawkish, um, especially if you look at what's going on. You're seeing energy prices uh, start to creep back up. You still haven't seen, you know, shelter um, go, you know, be tamer at all. So I think those are going to play a, a role in what we see in the numbers okay. um, and how the Fed, Fed reacts. I know you're generally bullish on mega cap tech. We have two big events for mega cap tech for both Apple and Alphabet today, two very different events. Um, are you focused on that? Is that is that guiding any investment thesis to either maybe sell and take some profit right now or even buy into some weakness? I think the barbell strategy is, is one that, you know, investors can look at right now. Right now, you have the opportunity to stay in on your risk, high risk, high reward areas and also to be on your low risk uh, areas, which, you know, if you look at money market funds, you know, a lot of, you know, folks out there are still not fully into these money market funds, they're still in areas where they're getting lower yields. And I think if you have that barbell strategy on both ends, there's an opportunity there. One, to be in low risk areas that are producing high yields right now, as well as to, as you mentioned, to be at those high risk or more risk areas um, that actually you know, have potential that have done well so far this year and may pull back. I've looked at a company like Salesforce that still has done really, really well this year and has potential okay. to continue to do well. Uh, they've shot out great growth you know, historically. Right. Um, and those are some of the areas in big tech as well. As you mentioned, Apple, uh, which has, has some right. issues you know, uh, in China as well. Some and issues so as well. I think but those as, are areas as you, you want to look at. Salesforce. Uh, but you want to look at Salesforce kind of having their big event today, in this, in this current environment.